Here's a picture of myself, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. By the 1965, this picture was taken. So it wasn't called solo diving. It was called diving by myself. And if you take a look at this picture, you will notice the colors. It's got nothing to do with the fact that the picture is a black and white picture. But everything was black. My wetsuit is black. It always was. My mask, my snorkel, I did a hat, I'm not sure, my fins. Now the question is, why is scuba diving gear always black? First of all, it isn't always black. If you think it's always black, you obviously have not been into a dive store recently because there's actually, while there is black available, there's every other color you can possibly think of. Masks, as you now know, if you're a modern diver at all, are clear silicone, beautiful silicone, no more rubber. Rubber, by the way, was black. In the uh, mid-70s, I think it was, they tried to uh, colorize rubber. They had fins. They actually had a fin, a line of equipment called the Americana line. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they produced, the U.S. divers produced a line of equipment. They had full foot fins and, uh, and, and uh, strap fins and a snorkel and a mask and a knife. And all of those items had red, white, and blue. <laughs> red, white, and blue stripes on all of them. So they did try to colorize the black rubber at a time to make it, it was just a change, it was just a fad thing, you know, it might be more attractive, we'll sell more. Didn't work, because <clears throat> any rubber product that has added, had a dye added to it, rotted very, very quickly. The fins got dry and snapped apart, uh, the knife handle, the mass straps were gone in a, sometimes a matter of weeks, so it just didn't work. But then, in the 80s, I think, or the 90s, I'm not exactly sure when silicone first started to appear, silicone products came out. So they were clear, like this. If you wanted color, you could add color, but the color was in the frame, maybe, or in accessories on the side. Now, they have silicone masks that are completely colored, and they last forever. It's not affected by the sun or salt water. So, now, scuba diving gear now is not all black. Although, I'm going to be honest, there's still a lot of black gear. Some people like to have black equipment. Now, if I'm selling a, a diver and he says, I want black, that's fine. I can give him whatever he wants in black. I might share with him the fact that if you have a black mask with a black skirt, you don't get as much light. A black mask and a black skirt, you can't see. You don't have the same peripheral vision. There are reasons why silicone colored equipment might be better. But if they want black, they can have black. Usually I try to get them to get a little bit of color in there. Let's talk briefly about wetsuits. My wetsuit was black. All wetsuits were black in those days. Black rubber. They were rubber. Now, but this is my production suit. I don't know exactly where I purchased this suit. I don't think it was on us actually, but this is it. So this is what we had in, in those days. I'm talking now the 60s. Let's call this the 60s. So the outside was rubber. There was no nylon coating. And it was black rubber. And uh, then in about the mid-70s again, uh, uh, some, and they started to put nylon on the outside. The nylon made it slippery so you could put the wetsuit on more easily. You need that talcum powder. Talcum powder, yeah, we used to use talcum powder to get the suit on. Watch my videos. Anyway, <laughs> so they put nylon. Then they put nylon on the outside too to make it tougher because the nylon didn't tear. Rubber in those days tended to be a little bit fragile. If you grabbed it like that and yanked it, it would rip apart. And then uh, some manufacturers, and they started to color the outside. So you could get a, uh, get a wetsuit and it had colors on it. It went a little bit crazy, to be honest. I, I have uh, a, a wetsuit, a uh, one-piece wetsuit, top to bottom, thin, warm water, and uh, the entire suit is paisley, <laughs> multicolored paisley. And, and that's all right. But that just sort of calmed down after a while. And once again, wetsuits generally are black, black nylon. It's a fad thing. Go into a, go into a dive store. And you look around your dive store, you will see lots of black, lots of black. Points your compensators, some fins, some masks, and other equipment. A lot of it is black. But if you want to dress yourself up so you look like a, look like a pimple on, pimple on a whale, you can do that. <laughs> There's lots of Scooby equipment in crazy, crazy colors. There's a pink suit and a pink BC and a pink tank and pink man. You look like Kevin. <laughs> anyway, guys, have fun out there. And uh, it's fun. I hope you enjoyed those pictures. Scooby gear isn't necessarily all black. Go to, go to a modern dive store and you'll see. Take care. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips.